if you're a patient with chronic symptoms of gastroesophageal re reflux disease, especially if you've had it for more than five years, you should definitely be going to talk to your doctor about it. Um, you know, the first line therapy is us usually a medication to suppress the acid and help uh, treat this. But if that medication is not working uh, or you're having any alarming symptoms such as significant weight loss, or difficulty swallowing or pain with swallowing, then you should definitely be asking your doctor if it's time for you to be referred to a specialist uh, who can perform an endoscopy. There are multiple therapies available to uh, suppress acid in patients with gastroesophageal reflux disease. The mainstay of therapy, uh, both to treat the disease and to prevent progression to precancerous changes in Barrett's esophagus, are proton pump inhibitors. Uh, these are the strongest medications that we have that suppress the acid in the stomach and prevent the symptoms of heartburn uh, and regurgitation. Uh, not only is it important to speak to your doctor when you do have these symptoms to consider getting put on one of these medications, but it's important to stay on these medications. In patients with Barrett's esophagus, uh, we keep people on either once or twice a day acid suppressing medications uh, indefinitely. And we talk to them every time we see them to make sure that they're taking it appropriately. The most important thing uh, in treatment is to get rid of the inflammation. So usually that's with medical therapy. Um, proton pump inhibitors are the mainstay of treatment for gastroesophageal reflux disease. Um, some patients are well managed uh, with medical therapy. The alternative would be surgical treatment, uh, what's called a fundoplication, uh, which can be done laparoscopically now. And the idea is to stop the acid injury to the esophagus. Um, and the idea there is to prevent the ongoing inflammation which contributes to the development of Barrett's in the first place, but also the progression of Barrett's um, to what we call low-grade dysplasia, then high-grade dysplasia, and then cancer. If we can stop that progression, then we can prevent the, can prevent the development of the actual cancer. If we first identify the people that have Barrett's, we find out if they are in that group that's going to progress. Once they develop um, low-grade dysplasia, we now recommend that they, they be treated. And the treatment for that is to do radiofrequency ablation. Um, and, but that only works if they also have maximal acid suppression, either with medication or with surgery. So the idea is, is that either with medication or surgery, you stop the acid coming up into the esophagus, you stop the inflammation, and then you uh, basically destroy that columnar lining uh, with radiofrequency energy, and then the esophagus heals with the normal squamous uh, mucosa, and that um, theoretically will reduce or eliminate the risk of cancer, and that's been proven to be the case. We have close to 95% rates of uh, eradication of their dysplasia and 85 to 90% eradication rates of their intestinal metaplasia or Barrett's esophagus. Mm -hmm.